Hey everybody, Kelsey here. Um, oh, excuse me. I know it's been a really long time. Um, my last video was at 12 weeks. Um, I think is what it was. Oh my gosh, sorry. I just got done eating, so I'm like still trying to digest it, I guess. So, um, my last video was at 12 weeks. I am now 17 weeks and 6 days, so I'll be 18 weeks tomorrow. <laughs> Yay, almost halfway done. Um, so let's see, where to start? First, I'm going to apologize for it being so long. Um, in my previous videos from forever ago, I said that my mom was moving um, out of state, <clears throat> so she moved on Monday, and so... Every spare moment I've had, I've been spending with her and my family um, before she left. And since they left on Monday, um, the reason I haven't done a video, I actually did one um, two days ago, but when I went to upload it, <clears throat> my computer froze and deleted it. So um, yesterday I wasn't feeling too good, so I um, didn't do it yesterday. So here I am today. And it is dark here. As you can see, I've got a lamp over here um, to get some light. <laughs> so it's dark here. Um, so anyway, um, I think my last video was about my 12-week appointment um, and how the doctors messed up and I got a new doctor and everything. So um, about a week, week and a half after that, about 13, 13 and a half weeks, um, my morning sickness has gone away. It's not completely gone. I still get it maybe once every few days, once a week, something like that. Um, just kind of depending what I've had the night before. Then sometimes I get sick in the morning, but not too bad. Um, let's see. So I have been feeling pretty good, except I've been having horrible, horrible round ligament pains. Um, I went to the doctor. I wasn't quite sure what it was because I never felt any pain like this when I was pregnant with my son. Um, so I went to the doctor about 15, 15 weeks, 15 and a half weeks to have it checked because it was kind of a constant pain and it was only one on one side and it was when I laid down or sat funny. Um, nothing would help it, no medicine, no anything. So since I didn't recognize the pain, I thought I'd go get it checked out. So my doctor looked and he just told me it was ligament pain. Um, it's been bad. It's still here. It's pretty constant with me, um, especially as my belly grows. I mean, I'm a bigger girl as it is. Um, and as it grows, it's pulling them even more. And uh, when I stand up to walk, sometimes when I'm walking, it just pulls them. And, uh, so, and it's happening right now. So that's why I seem like I'm in pain. Because I am. Um, let's see. Nothing really exciting has happened the last few weeks. Um, sorry. I had my 16-week appointment um, last week, week and a half ago. Um, everything was good. All he did was um, they checked my weight, which I am down 5 pounds from my 12-week appointment. Um, so I'm two pounds below my pre-pregnancy weight, um, which I was really shocked because I have been on this eating binge pretty much because all I want to do is eat and eat and eat. So I was really shocked that I've lost weight because it's been like a lot of chocolate and I absolutely hate chocolate. <laughs> I really won't eat chocolate anything. And it's been chocolate candy bars, like Snickers and Milky Ways and Twix. So I've got a whole bowl of it in my kitchen, and that's what I've been eating. Um, I know it's horrible. It's not healthy, but, you know, when that's what you're craving, that's what you're going to eat. And when nothing else sounds good. So that's what I've been eating. Um, so, yeah, I was shocked I lost five pounds. I was really expecting to gain five pounds, but that's great. I'm glad I lost it, but. 
I'm sure it'll come creeping back up soon. <laughs> um, what else? Um, I guess I'll do a belly shot for this week um, and show you guys. Let me get situated here. Let me fix my shirt and pants. So there's my 17 week belly. So it's poking out. We're poking out. But like I said, as it gets bigger, it pulls all through here. <laughs> and, uh, but anyway, so that's my belly. Um, as far as kicks and movement goes, um, I have felt a little bit. It started, sorry, maybe around, I'm trying to think. Probably, I first felt a little, little flutters, I think around 15 weeks. Um, just here and there, like maybe once every couple days. Oh my gosh. I ate Chinese food and it's not sitting with my stomach. It sounded good at the moment, but it doesn't anymore. And it's hit my stomach weird. So, um, anyway, so movement, yeah, I felt a little bit, um, I've been feeling it a little more often, um, the last week or so, um, more the last few days, quite a bit, um, when I sit a certain way or lay a certain way, I can feel it. Um, the day I started feeling it the most was the day my mom left, which was Monday. Um, I've been distraught about my mom leaving. Uh, we have a really good relationship and she moved quite a few states away. So, I mean, far enough where you have to fly to get there. So, um, it was hard, especially her leaving as I'm pregnant. Um, but that day she left, I was in tears all day, um, all night, the night before when I said goodbye to her in person. Um, and then just Monday, like all day, I was feeling a whole bunch of movements and kicks. And it was, I guess, my baby's way of saying everything's going to be okay. So, <laughs> ever since Monday, I've been feeling them more often. So, I'm kind of excited that I'm starting to feel them more. <laughs> um, as far as gender goes, I still don't know. Um, my appointment to find out gender is on November 18th. Um, I will be 19 weeks, 6 days. Um, so, that will be my next video. Um, probably, so not for a couple weeks, so don't be looking for one if you are. Um, if I have something to update on, and before that, then I will definitely do it. Um, now that my mom's gone, I'll have more time to get on and do videos. Especially since I'm going to be talking to her over webcam, um, quite a bit, probably every night. So I'll have it up and running when I need to do a video for you guys. So, um... Definitely keep watch for that because I'm really excited. Um, we have a feeling it's definitely a girl. We call her a she. Um, my son calls her sissy already um, and gives my belly kisses and hugs and, you know, and so we really hope it's a girl. I just have a really strong feeling it is <laughs> since everything this pregnancy is so different from my last. Um, oh, I didn't mention either when I was talking about my weight at my last doctor's appointment. He also did the heart rate, um, check the heart rate, which was 159. So that's good there too. Um, that was it though. We were in there for maybe 10 minutes. Um, and that was it and we were done. So anyway, uh, gender ultrasound, November 18th. We're so, so excited. Once again, I'm sad that my mom won't be there, but she will be listening over the phone. Um, so, you know, what can you do? When your mom leaves, she was, I can't imagine being in her shoes though, at least I still live by um, my grandma and aunts and everybody and brothers. She moved to a state where we have no family whatsoever. 
Um, so anyway, it looks like I need to hurry before time runs up. Um, hopefully this video doesn't do it. My last one I, was like a 12 minute video and it cut out at 8 minutes. So hopefully this one doesn't do that. <sighs> um, so anyway, like I said, next video will be probably after the gender ultrasound um, for sure to update everybody. And just got to make sure I updated everything. Um, I did a belly shot, talked about my last appointment. I swear there was something else. I need to make a list next time I do this. Um, I don't know. Anyway, oh, I do have a Facebook group page. Um, it's just uh, babies, baby sparrows journey to life if you want to look that up um, and join that's how I am updating with pictures of me and pictures of baby when I get them um, so if you want to join please go on Facebook and search that group and please join um, everybody's welcome to follow me on that um, so I guess that's it so one congratulations to everybody that's pregnant are almost done with their pregnancy or just found out or people trying to conceive um, congratulations and I hope everything goes great for you guys um, I'm sharing my pregnancy with two of my good friends who are due a month and two a month in the two months after me so we'll have babies close together so we're excited um, anyway thanks for watching my videos and I hope everyone has a good day all right thanks guys bye